Welcome back. So if you're new to this channel, we're building a fursuit from scratch. This is the fursuit. We're going piece by piece. You get the idea. But it's been two weeks since I've touched this project and I'm very hungry to start getting actual more progress done. The big goal of this episode is to completely finish the ears and then we want to finish the back. So we want to get the two ears connected as one big huge piece and once we get that done it'll be in a pretty good spot because then we have one mega piece that we can kind of attach all the new pieces to. I don't know how long this will take us but if we're done early this piece up here is probably the piece we're going to finish after that because that's what the whole front face is going to tie into right and then eventually we'll have them kind of connect on the side but that's too far ahead. Right now let's go ahead and finish the ear all we need to do is sew the top up and then once we get that done i think we can start working on the big back piece which i've already templated so the last time we talked this ear was looking a lot rougher than it is right now i've cleaned it up in the two weeks that i've been at megaplex i've cleaned stuff up i've connected i have some sew stuff together i want to quickly kind of go over everything i've done just so that you really do get an idea of everything i did without you because I, I don't want you to go too far ahead without like not showing you something so that way you can do ideally you should do this entire first from like just by watching my video so the biggest thing that we did was we first shaved down all the fur using hair clippers. It's, it's like a quarter of an inch long, like three millimeters, somewhere in there. Um, I've gone ahead and sewed up all the edges. And that's just so when you see it on the fursuit head, it's not like a straight line. It looks really clean. I'll get closer for you. All I'm doing is just sewing up that edge together and it just has a really kind of natural look. And then finally, I just kind of trimmed everything up and then I got the top sewed together. I didn't do one because I wanted to show you one little top connection piece, just because it's pretty tricky and took me a while to figure out. And what I'm talking about is this piece up here. It's like the actual like top corner. Like how do you sew this corner together? So what I want to do is quickly go over how I'm going to do the top of the ear. It's a really tricky piece and it's actually quite intimidating. So let me just quick show you how I did it. So I ended up with some extra fur on top because it's always okay to have an extra. I made a slight note here where this piece will be trimmed, this kind of extra piece. And then finally, all I'm gonna do is pinch these two outer kind of band pieces together. And then whatever the leftover piece is, that's what we know we need to trim. Hopefully you can see this, but all it really is, is just kind of being super careful, going really slow, testing everything. And then that way you don't accidentally cut the wrong piece and have to redo all of your work. Cause after a while you're like, oh no, this piece is getting so complex, ah, don't destroy it. So there are our finished ears looking really good. And then on the inside of the ear, just to show you what it looks like, it ends up looking like this. It's really tricky to do your first time, but after you do your first time, it's actually pretty easy. So now that we've gotten the ears finished, let's go ahead and talk about the backside. This will be our next big piece. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut out two major pieces for now. We have this top piece, and then we have this bend here, and then we have this big bottom piece. I'm pretty sure this whole like neck piece could be all one massive piece, but I'm not trying to do that quite yet. And I think we're gonna have to pattern all that out. But for right now, let's just get these two guys done and then we can tie it into the side. So let's go ahead and take this off and then start cutting out our fur. The most important part about this entire thing is lining up the arrows. The number of times I've messed this up by having the fur go in the wrong direction <laughs> way too often. So let's go ahead and Tetris our pieces on, mark them up with a pen, and then see how they fit with the test fit. Ooh, before I show you how it looks, you have to promise to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out so much with the algorithm. Now, look at this. Ah, it's looking really good. Hopefully you can tell with the lighting. Ah, man, I'm thinking that's looking really good. I love how warm that brown is. Now we just gotta go ahead and sew it together. So these two guys will go together first. And once we get that done, we're just gonna go ahead and quickly sew to the sides together. And we'll have one big kind of super piece. So the magical sewing fairy went ahead and attached this all together for us. Uh, so we now have one giant super piece. So we've been putting it off long enough. Let's talk about how we're gonna go ahead and complete the front of the face. Now, looking all the way back at our ref sheet from episode one, all we had done is just mark that it was orange. And that level of really basic detail, I think, is okay uh, for a ref sheet, but now that we're actually here, we have to think about all the intricate details. The first thing is that we're gonna have to have some sort of transition from this dark brown to the regular orange fur, like this orange fur. I think just having like a cool triangle piece, like right here, would well, look really cool and I think it'd be pretty easy. So that's probably what we're gonna do for there. This whole section will be orange. The eyebrows will be our dark brown. The face itself will be that really kind of cream white. And then the nose will be black. So. 
we're gonna start from top to bottom, so up here first, and then finish kind of at the um, end of the muzzle. Before we can do any of that, we have to do we have to tape everything up first. Without a template, we can't do anything. So let's go ahead and ooh, it's gonna be a lot of taping. Let's start taping this up. While we're templating this up, this is a perfect time to talk about the question of the day. So in the previous video, we said whatever the highest rated question is, we'll go ahead and answer that in this video here. Masha asks, how much does being a furry affect your day-to-day -day life? Do your coworkers know? Do your family know? How's it, how's it being a furry like day-to-day -day got? So I would say it's just like someone who's like a big gearhead that's always like building a car in their garage, but instead of building a car, I'm building a fursuit in my living room. <laughs> as long as you're making something that's cool. I think my, my coworkers know I take like big like Comic-Con style vacations. Uh, I'm a programmer, so it's all very kind of nerd culture there. And my family all know too. Uh, my mom calls my big waffles fursuit that blue guy. And I think that's actually kind of cute. So I like this format where the questions go back and forth, but I wanna try to find ways to ask you guys questions about yourself. I've been trying to think up ways that we can get more like two-way contact. Cause right now it feels like I just answered your questions and I wanna learn about more about you guys. Um, I see the content you guys made on Twitter and I've seen some of the fursuits you guys have sent me on like DMs and stuff. And they're actually really cool. So if you have ideas how we can have more of a conversation like two ways, I'd be really excited now. now if you don't mind me, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out all of this templating. It's gonna take a while. Wow, that took a lot longer than expected. Let me show you how it's looking. So here is our finished uh, duct tape template. The reason why it took so long is because, because there's so many kind of compound curves on it, you really can't use big strips. It's all just little tiny strips and that takes just so much time to kind of cut them all out, put them all up there and make sure it all looks neat. Now, before we go ahead and start marking up on this where our pattern pieces are gonna go, I wanna spend the night just kind of thinking about it, thinking about it and mulling it over my head. We have no reason to rush into this. And then the last thing we're gonna do is like accidentally destroy it and have to redo all that work. That just kind of sucks. So here's how it's currently looking. Let me come back to you with everything marked out correctly. Back again. So we've gone ahead and made a rough draft of what we think our pattern is gonna look like. So here's a little transition round piece up top. This whole section here and here will be all of our orange, and then the whole bottom will be that cream color. Um, again, here's the ref sheet as a kind of quick reminder of what the character looks like. Now, making this pattern is, honest to goodness, one of the hardest parts because you have to make a lot of trade-offs where you want to have as many pieces as you can to show your kind of cool pattern and all your different colors, but for every piece you add, it gets more complex and you have another way that things might break down. So it, it's a real trade-off of you want to be complex, but you want to be as simple as possible you can too. I think the last thing we should do is knock out this last little um, brown piece up top, the transition guy. That'll be the last long pile for the whole bottom half will all be shaved. And I think that's a pretty good stopping point. So let's go ahead and cut off that little piece, flip it over to get both sides of it, and then go ahead and cut it out. Now for a quick test fit. Ooh, I don't know about you guys. I think it's looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly sew this all together and then let's come back and talk about what's up, what's next. And with that, we have everything sewn together and it's looking really good. So I'll be honest, this project's taking a lot longer than I expected. As it turns out, filming and making a fursuit is a lot of work. The next episode will be focused almost entirely on adding the fur to the face. It's legit probably one of the hardest parts of making a fursuit. There are a lot of little intricate pieces, there are lots of spots where things can go wrong, but go slowly, you know, be calm, take your time, and then it, there's nothing to really worry about. The next convention I'll be at will be MFF. Um, Megaflex was a huge blast and I can't wait at the end of the year to go to MFF. If you're going, let me know. And again, whatever the highest rated comment is in this video, we'll answer it again in the next video. I think it's a fun little thing. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the whole deal. I'll see you guys again next week.